Here is a potentiometer that's got kilo ohms in it, kilo being a thousand ohms. But here is a memory chip that has kilobytes in it that have a thousand and twenty-four bytes in a kilobyte. Why are there more bytes in a kilobyte than there are ohms in a kilo ohm? I'm confused. Well, I won't be after this episode of. <laughs> So, now you got me confused. Why are there more bytes in a megabyte than there are ohms in a mega ohm? Well, it all has to do with number systems and the way people and computers think. People think in terms of decimal. People use the decimal system, which is base 10, because we have 10 fingers, so we've got 10 unique digits in our numbering system on base 10. That's people. Computers, however, think differently because they have a thing called a bit in them, which can only take on two values, 0 and 1. So we use the binary number system, which is base 2, which has two digits in it, 0 or 1. Now, the confusion comes in representing numbers that are in the base 2 versus definitions in the base 10. So, for example, people, when we're talking about circuits, for example, circuit analysis, people using the base 10, base 10, we'll talk about a, for example, a kilo ohm. We can have resistors that have one kilo ohms, which is 1,000 ohms. All right, that's people in terms of base 10. Computers, on the other hand, in the base 2, If we wanted to talk about a kilobyte, one kilobyte, we have to come up with, or we do come up with, the closest binary number to the decimal 1000, which is 2 to the 10th, which is actually 1024 bytes in decimal. So see, that's where this confusion comes in and where we need to separate the two base systems to get our mind around this. If we're talking circuit analysis, we're talking about base 10. However, when we're talking about bytes, we're talking computer terms, which would be base 2, and then we have to convert that into a power of 2 which in this case, the closest is 2 to the 10th. So that's 1,024. So let's say we wanted to have 1 mega, mega ohm. Okay, so that's a million ohms. Like this. And it is a standard 1 million ohms. But a megabyte... now is actually going to be 2 to the 20th, which is actually in decimal. It's a value of 1,048,576 in decimal. One final example that we'll use just to finish out a sequence here so that we can see how things progress. If I look at a giga ohm, 
I use the symbol for ohms there. That would be 1 billion ohms, which is a pretty big number like this. Lots of zeros behind it. That is a giga ohm in base 10. If I want to look at a gigabyte, one gigabyte, and I'll use the abbreviations for that, that is equal to 2 to the 30th, which has a decimal value of 1,078,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,